What's up guys, it's Royal FIFA Gaming and welcome to episode number 18 of the West Ham United Career Mode. We're starting this uh, episode off with an away game against Southampton at St Mary's. This is Southampton's team, a pretty decent team out there. It's quite similar to ours to be honest. Both teams have good midfields but don't really have great up front. As you can see we're playing Andy Carroll today which isn't too bad. So hopefully he can get us a few goals. And straight away in the 21st minute Antonio nearly scores the goal to put us in the lead here. But now in the 45th minute it's Southampton coming forward. And what did I do there? They crossed it in and Reid just hooked it away from Adrian. When he was just about to collect the ball comfortably. And it would have gone in half-time 0-0. But unfortunately, Reid made the mistake once again there. Going in for the tackle, being drawn in by Charlie Austin. And he gets his sixth goal in the Premier League to put Southampton 1-0 up just before the break. And now just after the break, it's Dusan Tadic. He's drawn back, back into Jordi Classy. And now we're 2-0 down. And we've been playing well in this game. We was attacking well. But the defending is just too poor. We cannot be defending like that. A terrible clearance straight away from Defoe. Should have never slid there. And then just some rash last last minute slide tackles from the two defenders. And Jordi Classy gets his third goal of the Premier League season. And it looks like it's going to be very hard to get us back into this game. And as you can see here, it is 3-0 in the 70th minute. The Southampton players are barely celebrating now because they know that uh, because they know that. This is such a comfortable win for them. It just has been in this game. I mean, we started off well, but the league is not going well, boys. The FA Cup is pretty much our only hope now. And as you can see, Charlie Austin really should have got his hat trick there with the last kick of the game. But it is over. An another terrible performance from us, really. I mean, we had a little spell just before January in at the end of no uh, at the end of December where we was playing some really good stuff but it's just not been the case at all and now we are facing this next game at home to West Brom. This is our team that we are put, putting up. We've got a bit of a weakened team to be honest. Lewis Page is actually coming in for the first time. He is playing left wing back. That's our substitute. A few players have been rested for uh, fitness purposes because I think we had a game quite soon after maybe the FA Cup game against Watford but uh, yeah that this is West Brom's team it's a good team really their only real threat is Salomon Rondon so he's the only one we should really have to worry about in this game but in the fifth minute straight away West Brom coming forward and a great header from Johnny Evans from the corner but now we're coming forward in the second half with Mikel Antonio and he struck it against the ball with his weaker left foot in the 53rd minute. He dummies the defender, cuts inside. And what a shot that was. He just couldn't steer it into the back of the net. Very unlucky from Mikel Antonio there. But now in the 71st minute, Darren Fletcher has an opportunity. And we're lucky we're not 1-0 down late on. But it's Fletcher once again now crosses it into Berahino. Corb's been drawn and he's hit the post. And eventually Corb gets the ball away and we're lucky. But once again, here come West Brom. Jakob's done. Reed and luckily Adrian saves it. The constant attacking at the end of this game from West Brom. Really not good enough from us. And as you can see, that is how the game ended. And we would have obviously wanted a win at home to West Brom. But to be honest, the fans look distraught there. But to be honest, after some of the chances that West Brom had, I mean... <laughs> It's not, it's not exactly the worst thing in the world, but we're now getting into the youth part of the episode. This game is away to Middlesbrough at the Riverside Stadium, and as you can see here, it was a nil-nil draw. Absolutely nothing happened in this game. Just a really, really boring game at the Riverside. I'm sorry about that. It was our first youth game of the episode, and we need to rack up the wins to have any chance of promotion. I think it's pretty much dead now, our chance of promotion. But straight away in the second game of the youth episode and the final game of the episode, Oliver McBurney nearly scores, but Reese Oxford puts it over. And as could you see there that... Oliver McBurney has hit the post after his teammate just before that hit the post. But unfortunately, McBurney does put it in this time. A nice finish from the Scotsman. A good ball in and he puts it through Rafael Spiegel's legs. And although we've defended really well, Oliver McBurney does get his seventh goal in the, in Bundesliga 2. And we are 1-0 down at home to Swansea. And now it's Jay Fulton. Jay Fulton crosses it into his Scottish teammate. 
but eventually it falls so I'm not quite sure who that was there but yeah Swansea go 2-0 up late on in the game it looks like there's no way back for us here really poor good crossing from Jay Fulton Oliver McBurney couldn't get there but it was eventually t smashed into the back of the net by Daniel James who gets his sixth goal in Bundesliga too Swansea must be doing pretty well because they've got some high scorers and they're showing it here as they come forward once again and James gets fouled in the box the guy who just scored Colin fouls him in the 74th minute and it could get even more embarrassing as you're about to see here as well it does pop up Josh Cullen did get sent off so it's been an absolute disaster game can we at least save this penalty I thought we had for a minute I thought we had to save a bit of pride but we haven't we haven't saved any pride at all. 74th minute and we're 3-0 down to Swansea. Now with 10 men, could get even worse. McBurney gets the second of the game. Poor from Spiegel there. Don't know what he's looking at to try and save it. Just hits his body and goes in. Oliver McBurney gets his eighth goal of the Bundesliga too. And now Jay Fulton scores the goal at the end there. And that is the end of the game. A very, very, very poor performance from us. We was absolutely terrible in this game. I mean, Swansea just dominated. I mean, they had a couple of chances that really should have gone in before they even scored their goals so yeah we didn't deserve anything from that game today and Swansea have absolutely smashed us and continued our miserable miserable form in the youth squad and the uh, and the and the senior team, to be honest. And Jay Fault on the captain gets a goal there after being very good in that game. But that's the end of the episode. As you can see, we've finished 15th there. Uh, sorry, we're 15th in, uh, at the end of the episode. Not good at all. The player of the episode for the senior team will be Adrian. I thought he was absolutely fantastic. Saved some great shots for the West Brom game and for the youth team. It will be restocked for just for that goal line clearance. I thought it was I thought he was absolutely brilliant doing that. One of the best moments of the season despite us losing 4-0. But that is the end of the episode. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Bit of a shorter one for you guys, but there wasn't loads to show in the senior games and one of the youth games was a nil nil. But there was certainly a lot of action in that last youth game. But I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe down below. I've been Rafi for gaming and I'm out.